here with the beginning of the Mandalorian watch through. So a quick caveat for those who might be wondering. Yes, I've already seen this show once through when it first came out. We've been duped! Duped! Bamboozled! We've been duped! They no wonder. That's not even a word and I agree with you! Now, feel free to take that as you will. That will probably deter some people from watching. That's fine. I get it. I will be probably re-experiencing things from a fresh perspective. So that's something. Probably forgotten of stuff, as you may have noticed my memory does that. Again, I had not seen this show with all the context I now have. All the movies, fully the Clone Wars and Rebels. That probably might help me catch some Easter eggs and things and come up with some theories and point out things. Who knows? So nonetheless, this will still be me reacting in some sense, not just for the fresh first time, but I will also provide commentary as these reactions always do. I remember enjoying my first watch through of it, but I didn't understand a lot of it like I will now. So hopefully you will enjoy this journey as we go along. We will be doing it as a highlight as you will come to see. Hopefully it'll be a good ride. And then just a quick, right before we get started, just a quick reminder to folks. Say the line, Bart. I also stream on Twitch. Yeah! twitch.tv slash zell that's x-e-l-l-l-e -L -L -E. that means you go to that link at twitch look for zell type in the box x-e-l-l-l-e -L -L -E. give a follow it'll notify you when i go live we can chat and all hang out together as community so check that out if you're interested in that but let's continue and go on with the main event which is season one episode one the mandalorian so let's get started <gasps> Whoa! That's a pretty well done Corrin, right? I'm paying attention to way more things now. And what race is he? The music. That Mandalorian helmet, though. That person's not making eye contact. That creature on the left. I forgot about that. It's always shocking when there's someone severed. Is that oh. a bounty puck? Whoopsie. Is that me? That's probably how I would respond. <laughs> I need passage to the yards. That was a little shocking in my ears. No droids. Aww. How do you understand that? How would you understand that as a language? Sad, that was a mech droid. Where to? And we know that guy. <laughs> Kidding me, right? Dude Hello. basically just got an Uber. Oh my gosh. That is terrifying. See, that's why I don't like deep water. Oh! Ooh! I forgot it was like a walrus thing. That's a really well done uh, pickle walrus. The graphics in this show is really well done. The quality. Can you imagine, yeah, more Star Wars shows with these kind of graphics? They said Kenobi's gonna use this. Razorcrest, am I right? Pre-Empire? Pre-Empire. I have a lot of credits, by the way. How much are they paying you? You talk a lot, sir. Is it true that you guys never take off your helmets? Sabine took hers off. He doesn't talk much. Isn't it funny? Nice. It Ew, that's... I don't even want to ask what kind of toilet. I was hoping to be free for a uh, life day. <gasps> a Rodian and a human? Family. Oh, rip. That's a lot of money. Four people? I don't remember all those other carbon frozen people. How convenient is that? Having a carbon freezer? on your ship like that, and it had it happened that quickly. Han took a lot longer to, but they said that was an old one, right? <gasps> Look at all of them, the Rodians, are those Trandoshians? That looked like, is Embo hat? I mean, it doesn't look like Embo. So they don't know what happens to their bounties afterwards. I don't know if you heard, but the empire is gone. I can do calamari flan, but I can only pay half. What a funny currency. That's kind of cool looking. Wow, that 
for four capturing four people that better be worth a lot they won't even cover fuel these days wow there is one job oh oh they're Let's listening the jawas that would be so cool to see embo or other bounty hunters we saw in the clone wars oh he's going to an address i see and that's classic from uh ot Gong droid! All these things I am catching now. Oh, but he. Oh, he is saying gonk. What did they say gonk droids were used for? Were they portable batteries? <gasps> it makes more sense. They're dirty too. So they're stormtroopers. Like they've been through some. What else did he say? Stuff. He said you were the best in the parsec. Do you think some of those, any of those, could be clones? Probably not. No. Your also said you were expensive. Mm. Very expensive. Yeah. Please he's sit. good. This is exciting. Is that emblem he's wearing? Is that the old Empire Back symbol? On. I've come to owner of best car waiting for you upon delivery of the asset. I alive. yeah, I don't yes, I don't think I know best car. A man of your skill should make short work of this. Wow. So they're tracking down this person that is 50 the years old. Obviously, we know. I know who he's tracking. The Mandalorian. So obviously what he's implying. Oh no! Oh no! That was like the creature that was next to Jabba, right? There's a Twi'lek. So I'm guessing Beskar was important to the Mandalorians. I don't recall that being talked about, but I probably missed it somewhere. Look at all the other Mandos. Even kids? I don't remember that being something we saw in their society, in their world. I don't know how much has changed between then and now. But even the kids only wearing, always wearing helmets. There she is! Yeah, they didn't really emphasize or talk about this much, even in the Clone Wars of Rebels that I recall about the armor and stuff. But I guess this kind of goes over it. And we don't know still who she is. So they were found by the Mandalorians and then brought up in their creed. Nice. His helmet already looks like that material. So she's saying he was able to get a full pauldron out of it, but there's also a lot of ac excess. What if he doesn't like that design? What if he wants a different style? Ha <laughs> ah, ha ha, there they are. How does he- oh! I didn't think they were aggressive like that. He hungry. Just leave him alone. Maybe they're just hungry. I like the small effect that they made him breathe there. And he's not that pig race, it looks like. He's just maybe... I will help you. Is he a different... He's related to him, maybe. I have spoken. Gosh, I just love how well makeup, special effects have come to make these... Aliens seem so much more plausible. Did you help them? Yes, they died. Well, then I don't know if I want your help. <laughs> this is a female. The males are all eaten during mating. <laughs> There's no way that species could live in real life. Like, the balance, the gravity of it? I mean, maybe. With the things they're able to do, they're not very not terrifying. <laughs> Spear. You are a Mandalorian. Your ancestors rode the great Mythosaur. Surely you can ride this young foal. Mm, called out. Easy. I wonder what what made them choose the different species. Be one. There you go. Work with them, not try to overpower them. Plus, having a comfier saddle helps too. See, look at that. The things they're able to jump over. I'm glad they're showing that because they're like, why would he not be able to do that on his own? But yeah, those crevices probably are not easy to go on by foot. Plus, what are they going to do with their little hands? Pick things up? They'll evolve to have to lose those limbs. Please. I have spoken. That's like him saying, I said what I said and I'm done talking now. <laughs> he has like the most rinky dink looking equipment sometimes. Like that telescope? Like what? Oh. Hey, I know those creatures. 
Wow, those bounty droids are insane. Droids. He doesn't like droids. I can't remember why. So does, in the kill. so does he make his own choice? Like the These droids act problem. on their I've own? Issued the of you are as of yet empty handed. This is true. I have a suggestion. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> his legs make me uncomfortable. I didn't know they had green ones. I will initiate self destruct sequencing. Whoa, you're what? Do not self destruct. He's like, uh, don't self destruct. That's a lot of cover fire. And that's a lot of trust that he's putting on the droid. Uh oh. I will initiate self destruct. Do not self destruct. We're shooting <gasps> our way out. Why? Uh. Beginning self destruct countdown. No, stop. Stop self destructing. Ooh, seeing him run. Oh, man. Oh, ho, ho. Hopefully that's everybody. You know, you're not so bad for a droid. Agreed. That blast made looks nasty. I agree, okay. I'm not. <laughs> Running a quick dive. That's a really strong gun, wow. Yeah, I'm surprised there aren't any more in there. Anyone else? Yeah, they don't know. Uh... They said 50 years old. Species age differently. Perhaps oh my centuries. gosh. Sadly. It didn't say specifically. He said if that was a side effect. He's like mesmerized by that. Yeah, Dave. So Dave directed this one. And John wrote it. Wait, so Taika... Oh, so it was executive produced by Dave and... Cool. Werner Herzog, I think, was the... Yeah, that guy. I don't know. Who was Taika in this? It's just... Is Taika the bounty droid? But yeah, so either way, um, really cool to see that. I like the vibe it has that it's focusing on just the everyday of bounty hunting, the background of the Mandalorians with their more traditional roles and like behind the scenes stuff, which is like with the armor and making their pieces, bringing their tradition back to to light and stuff and talking a little bit. They start to introduce that a little bit. I really like the show brings high quality special effects, not just in the sceneries, but in the creatures such as the Borg and the different alien creatures that come to like really well done like if you could see that yourself interacting with them like if they do a good job with that so i like to see that like it's really exciting to have our technology be up to par where a lot of these sci-fi stories and creatures can come to life for what they were actually visualized as to make it seem plausible in our real in our life right obviously questions about that creature one like 50 years at a baby and still being a baby? Who knows how long to age? Ba -ba. Wow. Can you imagine having a child you depend on you for 50 years? <laughs> what was it doing in there? How did those people get a hold of it? Why were they keeping it alive, covered with other things? Did they know it was in there? Did they know what it was? And why are they trying to capture it? So a lot of these questions come to mind. Yeah, I really enjoyed seeing this again. I'm excited to see the rest of it. There's definitely some, there are major elements, obviously, of the story, I remember, but there's some subtle things um, in the shows that I don't remember. So I'm excited to re-experience that and piece together things maybe I wasn't able to the first time. So thanks for watching along with me. If you have any comments or information about this particular episode, feel free to share that. I would hold off on anything beyond this episode for now until we get through it. We'll just go along per episode base. And if you enjoyed the commentary and enjoyed the video we put together, give the video an upvote. Subscribe if you haven't. If you're curious to seeing the rest of this journey and with this video, Feel free to subscribe so it'll let you know. These will be coming up every Friday for the duration of the show. And in the meantime, thanks again, guys. Appreciate all your support and hanging out on the channel. And I will see you 
on the next one. Mm -hmm.